Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well today. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be someone, ooh, there will definitely be someone here, someone. Okay, as I said that, I just saw a huge big butterfly outside of the window. Okay, so I feel like there is a big change for someone coming, okay? Or someone is wanting to create some type of big change for you, okay? Okay, and I just heard a couple. So this will be connected to the download that I'm about to get into. So if you're new, thank you for being here. If you are returning, Hey, so family, what's going on? I hope that you are well. I hope that you are loving on you and staying positive. Let's go ahead and get this breathing in, y'all. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you are feeling at this time. Spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels of the highest white light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you. Please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy and encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective. Ashe. All right, y'all. So the download that I was coming on to talk about is here come the waterworks, okay? There's someone in the energy that is having difficulty getting their way, whatever that is for them. So they're about to put on the waterworks. They're about to give that uh, daytime Emmy Award <laughs> crying scene, okay? To get you to do what they want, okay? This is a king or queen of wands in the reverse type of energy that they're gonna do whatever they have to do. They want what they want and you are not budging on whatever this is so get ready for the waterworks now that couple with this someone you will receive something from someone or something's going to change for someone and me, me seeing the butterfly there's some type of big change okay i feel like this person wants to create some type of big change in your world or want you to bring in some big change for them there is something that you have or something that you have going on that this person either wants to affect wants to be a part of wants to destroy or they want you to do something to help create big change in their life okay but this is all boiled down to what they want okay so here come the waterworks Let's see. <laughs> Put your feet in the water. Okay, there's water energy. Okay, so somebody here could be guided to put their feet in the water. Okay, that lets me know about cleansing. We got rebuke the devil here. So this is not energy that you want to uh, be moved by is what I'm picking up. You are already standing firm, and uh, I heard refusal, okay? And that's a very strong word, okay? I love you, and I'm sorry in the reverse, okay? 
someone is in love with you in the reverse. Okay, so this person is going to lay it on thick. This could be friends, exes, family. Whoever they are, they have an objective. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? What is this waterworks energy about? Whoa. That's too many. Take this. We have the first millionaire in your family. Okay. And we have a false person wearing a mask. Okay. There you have it. So I feel like this is collective energy. The first millionaire in your family. My disclaimer. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. They are general and not personal, so it may not apply to you. These messages are not going to be for everyone. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. My disclaimer, I am not a mental health professional. I'm not a doctor, a lawyer, a financial advisor, or anything of the sort. So please do seek professionals in those areas if you require that type of assistance. That being said, they want something. This false person want something this person could see that you are getting a major increase in your finances there's something that you're building maybe you won the lottery or you're just working on something that's going to make you a millionaire and this person is separated from you okay and this person is going to lay it on thick here come the waterworks they want to get back into your energy okay look who's on the bottom of the deck Archangel Michael and surrounded by angels, okay? There is a heavy attachment on this false person. This false person is an agent, okay? Surrounded by angels. Okay, they don't want this one out. Just Archangel Michael. Okay. They're saying we belong together. This was in the reverse. They want to reconnect to you. They are going to bring out the big G-U-Ns, okay? Figuratively speaking, to pull on your heartstrings. It says you are not meant to work hard, create. This is in the reverse, okay? This person, this is your energy in the upright, okay? I believe you could be creating something. There's something that, some type of gift or spiritual knowledge you have that is going to produce this millionaire status for you. Okay, I feel like this person has been scrying. I feel like this, this person has been digging, watching you from fake pages, all up and through your business, all up in your energy, okay? They are extremely intimidated by you and they either want to take you down and destroy what you have going, be a part of what you have going, or use you to create what you have going in their lives, okay? But none of this is a genuine uh love and respect and kindness or any type that's there's none of that energy coming from this false person okay what else holy spirit whoa okay okay i just noticed how the cards were flipping around they're trying to move things around. I'm seeing the two of wands in my third eye. They are really plotting, trying to figure out how they're going to get into your inner. Look at these cards. Everything reminds me of you, missing you, okay? So this person, I feel like your spirit guides are uh, making this person think about what they're missing. There's some reason why this person is disconnected from you and it's for good reason is what I'm picking up on. You have come so far, don't stop. Be proud of yourself, okay? We have sun in the reverse, okay? So this person is hiding something and also they're not happy, okay? Under heavy spell work, okay? I feel like there was some spell work that was meant for you that this person is experiencing and we have that's the way love goes okay this is the energy of karma 
Let's clarify. Let's get into these and see what's going on. I'm hearing, let her cry, oh, she's a lady. Okay, I feel like your guys are giving me that song because let them cry is what they're saying. Okay, whatever they did, they deserve to be crying for. This is not a rescue them type of energy. Your your spirit guys are cutthroat in, in this energy. I, I'm in the energy of being cutthroat. Look homeless and wanting you to save them absolutely not okay your guys are saying no this person has some type of uh very dark objective when it comes to you they will use you up and then they will throw you away and there is a reason why you are separated from this person whoever this is death card energy okay it's a no your spirit i know we're gonna see this ancestor card coming out because they are not playing they're like, don't even think about saving this person. Pray for them and keep it moving. There's going to be a whole lot of Six of Cups energy. I'm seeing somebody somebody is doing uh, love spells in the sense of just bringing back old loving warm and cozy memories with this person okay so this is somebody you have some type of past with they're wanting you to think about the good times okay mm -mm. what is look at this but there's some type of conflict i didn't even i said what is okay this person has beef with you okay and this person could have worked with others to have some type of bright idea to, to have some type of beef with you or, or do something to cause conflict in your life, okay? This card is heavy. <clears throat> this person was adamant about causing some kind of strife. And what's conflict, Holy Spirit? What's conflict? Yeah, they were good when you were in this conflict energy because they were behind a lot of it and it brought this person peace and luck. What a nasty energy. And now that you have closed, double bolted and locked the gate and built a bar in front of it to protect your energy, now this person is gonna get started with the waterworks and try to <laughs> persuade you to let them back in your energy. What else for conflict and okay, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person is stressed and pressed. Ah, oh, these folks. What's first millionaire in your family? Okay, we have Val. Remember when we were kids? <laughs> you owe me that type of energy. And this that's what's going to happen. They're going to start off with the waterworks. Then they're going to start with the guilt energy. Then they're going to start with the you owe me type of thing. I can already see this. Look at this. Look at this. They were blindsiding you, adamant about bringing conflict to you. Under heavy spell work, okay? They could have tried to sacrifice you. These are the moves this person was making, okay? Okay. And now that you are about to be the first millionaire in your family, or you already are, this person is trying to get ready to come towards you again with the drama. What else for first millionaire in your family and vow? Okay, this, but this is connected to your sacred covenant with the divine. Okay, you have some type of sacred covenant and some divine purpose that's going to bring this abundance in for you. And look at this accident and nightmare okay and your guides are saying if this person tries they're gonna be they're gonna do so and be dealing with this hurting themselves okay and they're trying to either do this to you cause nightmares for you cause an accident for you try to disrupt what you're doing try to it's just a nasty energy really nasty all they want to do is 
benefit from it or destroy it. That's it. What's false person? What's false person? A person that is afraid of you manifesting wealth, of you manifesting anything. They're imagining all that you have and it scares this person for you to have any of this stuff because they've worked so hard with this conflict energy to destroy these opportunities for you. Archangel Michael, we love you. We thank you. <laughs> what is the... This person is going to live and learn. If they try, I can't even get the question out. Okay? If they try to pick from your tree, they don't get their hands popped. Okay? <laughs> Archangel Michael's not having it. Okay? And they're going to get escorted out. You are not meant to create. No, I'm sorry. You are not meant to work hard. Create. In the reverse. Why is that here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, because you're a thief. This is in the reverse, okay? For you, you are meant to bring out the abundance from the inside of you and create this millionaire status. This person, not so much because they are a thief. Bottom of the deck, natural disasters. Wow. What's robbery, Holy Spirit? Look, there's too much evidence against this person. Okay, this person really did a lot. The audacity. Okay? We don't clear. This, this whole set right here is loaded. So we're going to see what that's about with the tarot. You have come so far. Don't stop. Be proud of yourself. This is what this person is going to come to you talking about, okay? Trying to chum, 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 chimney, chimney, chim, chim, chiru with you, okay? <laughs> they want to rub elbows. They want to make the homemade guacamole with you. They want to sit up and talk and uh, paint their toenails or uh, give you a back rub, wh whatever, whoever this person is. It, this could be an ex, this could be a friend, this could be a family member. This is somebody that's just no longer invited, okay? Mm -mm. And this person is pressed. What's under heavy spell work? Hesitation. I feel like this at one time may have hit you in some type of way to cause a lot of conflict. When this person was in this energy, when they were good and they were happy, sun in the upright, something was hitting you. There was stress and conflict in your life. Now that this spell work is being sent to the rightful owner, this person is in this hesitation energy because nothing is working so they're they're contemplating sending out some more of the spell work but they know that it's going to come right back so this is why they're hesitating okay they're thinking about sending you something in your dream state but they know they're about to get a beat down because your ancestors and archangel michael is right there waiting for them Okay, what is the sun in reverse? I'm trying to tell you when you put it like that, okay? They're not happy because that spell work, under heavy spell work that they sent to you, came back. And that's why, again, like I just said, they're, they're hesitating thinking about sending it out again, okay? But that's the way love goes, okay? That's how it works. So this person also may have wanted you to be sick. This person could be sick now. This person could have wanted you to be lonely. 
this person could be lonely now okay daydreaming and they're thinking of you daydreaming and they're thinking of you how can i get back into the collective's energy what's that the way love goes holy spirit i just saw the family car flip over but it flipped back okay so this could definitely be somebody in your family okay that's the way love goes okay calm this is your energy What's calm and that's the way love goes? Gifts. That's the way love goes, okay? This is saying you are putting out what you wish to receive. You are being at peace. You are putting out this peaceful energy, okay? You are putting out love, okay? And this is what is being gifted to you. Love. You could be a person that gives a lot of gifts, brings a lot of peace. That's the way love goes. So you shall reap. That is your fate. That's what you're putting out. That's what you're getting. This person decided to put out spell work and curses. So they shall reap. That's their fate. Okay. Let's get some tarot to clarify this. This is like beaming over here. When you put it like that. Okay. Wow. Wow. y'all let's see what's going on with this energy you are not meant to work hard create in the reverse with the robbery and evidence card we just saw a magician this person was doing a lot of spell work bottom of the deck seven of swords okay there is that robbery energy right there with the angels right right behind them watching their every move okay that's the evidence mm -hmm. What do we need to know about this energy, Holy Spirit? This fell right on top of under heavy spell work and hesitation when it comes to you, the Empress, okay? Because you are not meant to work hard. You are meant to create because you are partnered with the divine, okay? Partnered with the divine. Okay, so this person tried to steal that energy from you, that abundance on the inside energy from you by siphoning from you by taking from you by creating conflict in your world what else for this you are not meant to create in the reverse energy holy spirit okay judgment upon you i'm trying to tell you this energy here this is beaming okay this person is under heavy judgment right now okay for all that they did Whoa. What's the judgment, Holy Spirit? I'm trying to tell you, here come the waterworks. <laughs> here come the waterworks. See all this water down here? This person about to cry you a river. Okay? Whatever this person got caught slipping, for real. Look at this, the hierophant right behind this. Oh my. What's the outcome here, Holy Spirit? Whoa. Not going to be able to get out of this. Look at what's on the bottom. Justice, okay? So this is the this is this energy of no way. There's no way this person is coming back, okay? Look at this. They said split it. Six of cups in the reverse. Okay, this deck is in the upright. This deck is in the upright. For all they did, went right back to it. This person from your past did the most to destroy your life for long, far longer than you realize. Wow, Holy Spirit, who is this person? Who is this person? Blocked. Somebody that Archangel Michael has blocked. Somebody that it could have been hard for you to cut off initially. 
this person did all this to you and for a long time you didn't want to believe it this is who this person is for you it's going to be different for everybody but it may have really hurt to know that this person was doing all of this to you okay but you got the memo because this person is, is disconnected this person is not in your energy but they are coming back with the waterworks what happened to us i just don't understand <laughs> okay mm -hmm. they're coming because they see you as the king of pentacles queen of cups energy Loving, kind, generous, successful, financially stable, dependable, loyal, loving. Give me money. Share with me. Let me borrow a pinnacle. Okay? That type of energy. Went right back to that six of cups in the reverse. It's a no. Okay? You might get your hands popped if you allow this person. <laughs> your ancestors are like, <laughs> no. Okay? What's uh your you are the first millionaire in your family? Okay, strength. Okay, this person could be a Leo or you could be a Leo. Also, your strength. You persevered through that nine of wands energy. Whatever this person sent your way, whatever this person watched you go through, you've been through a lot, and the divine has healed you, molded you, put you on the road. To your ascension and now you are in your purpose okay strong built for tough okay not looking back what else for you are the first millionaire in your family many options multiple streams of income okay on demand okay a lot of people want to partner with you what's false person this fell over in the reverse. King of Swords in the reverse. This person is angry. And this person is pressed and stressed. Okay. This person thought they were smart. This person thought that they could uh, continue to pull the wool over your eyes. And now they're angry because the mask is falling off. Okay. You know exactly who they are. You know exactly what they did. And you, you don't even need to talk about it. You're just done. Well, I just keep going back. Look at this. You and the Ten of Pentacles, you focus on your million, millions and not the past, okay? And that has this person really, really sad, okay? I'm seeing King of Cups in the reverse energy. This person is crying they're gonna they're gonna contact you crying you're gonna hear some I'm telling you award-winning presentation okay there might even be a slideshow okay <laughs> you have come so far don't stop be proud of yourself yeah the Sun in the upright crossed over here just across from the Sun in the reverse okay is happy on this side of town. You have your peace on this side of town. Things have been eliminated to you on this side of town, okay? You see, okay? You could be a seer. It's a lot of sun energy out here, a lot of illumination, a lot of clarity out here, okay? You could have been like this after things were illuminated to you, but it's all right. It's all right. What's the sun here, Holy Spirit? Yep. God shows you what time it was. And God is also saying to you, you have come so far. Be proud of yourself, okay? God is wanting you to know that because it wasn't easy to do. To come back from all this five of swords in, uh, energy from someone that you never expected to, to deal with that confirmation. What is under heavy spell work? Did I not say King of Cups? Okay. This person is in their emo... And look what came out with it. Okay. I told you this person was an agent. This person... What's this? The star in reverse. Okay. No wish fulfillment. They're saying this is clarifying the sun in reverse. Okay. And notice how it hit. This under heavy spell work. Then sun in the reverse with the curse. Okay. 
everything this person sent to you, they get, they're getting back. It boomerang right back. No wish fulfillment. The curses they sent to you, that's what they're getting. This person is going through it right now. Whatever entities they try to send to you with this devil energy went right back. That's the way love goes. Okay. What's that's the way love goes? Holy okay, they want me to get one more for the sun in reverse. There it is. <laughs> Speak, Holy Spirit. Sun in reverse to the star in reverse to the curse. Clarified by the Ten of Wands and the Three of Wands. God is saying, count on it. Stand there and wait for it. You sent it out and waited for it to work. It, it's going to work, but it's just going to work on you. That's what God is saying here. That's the way love goes. Anything else here? Okay, that's the way love goes. Gift and calm. I cannot make it up. That's the way love goes. That's the way love goes. What goes around comes around, hon. What are you putting out? What are you sending to folks? So you shall reap. So you shall reap. When you put it like that. My goodness. All right. Well, let's get some advice. They're saying there's a few here. Yep, look at this. This is what you put out. This nourishing, loving energy. Growth, focus, finding yourself, okay? Self-love, okay? And boundaries. I cannot make it up. Keep those boundaries up because this person is coming with the waterworks. I'm telling you, King of Cups in reverse energy. Secretly crushing. Whether they whether this romantic or not, they just question on your life, what you have going on. What else should we be aware of? I cannot, y'all. When you put it like that, finality and sorrow, okay? It's over for this connection. There's no coming back from whatever they did. It's over. Done, done, done. Done, done. Okay. Well, there's a perspective for you. <laughs> oh. Let's get one of these for our loved one. What does our loved one need to know concerning their creations, their ventures? Everything turns to the light. I cannot make it up. This sun out here, the sun is shining bright out here. Okay. I work to improve myself, embrace all that life brings to me, and transform darkness into light. I allow myself to grow and become stronger. That's exactly what you did. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get one more. Unconditional love. My heart is free from resentment towards others. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I'm aware that suffering can cause distress and, and hurt in people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. So if you haven't already, you are being guided to forgive this person for they knew not who they mess with, okay? And... Uh, keep it moving. Keep those boundaries up. Keep working on what you're creating. Keep up that same energy, okay? Because it always rolls around. So offer love and peace, okay? Don't contribute to any lower vibrational energies. And so you shall reap all the benefits of what you're putting out. God is returning to you. And I'm so very proud of you for the way that you handle this situation. God is very proud of you, and you are doing big things out here, okay? Many options, okay? You have a lot of things coming in for you that are protected, okay? You have heavy, heavy, heavy protection. Okay, there's actually something else that Archangel Michael wants to add to the read. I'm being guided to clear this first. 
Okay, they said flip me over, flip me over. Okay, so we're going to clarify those too. Something about your ventures protecting the interest of your ventures, okay? Getting there. Do I need to clear this energy first? Okay. Doesn't hurt. Run a little pile through it. Archangel Michael, let's see what Archangel Michael wants you to know. This, this one. I heard personal goals. Archangel Michael, we love you, we thank you. What is the message that you want? What do you want our loved ones to know? Oh, wow. Managing goals <laughs> came out and happiness. Anything else? Okay, yes, there's something else. Balance. Okay, I'm hearing balance. Health. And growth. Okay. And wisdom on the bottom of the day. No, I need to read these. All of them. Just this. Okay, so we have happiness, health, growth, and managing goals. And I'm being guided to read managing goals. But there's also an energy of balance. Okay. Um, work life balance. Um, you have a lot on your plate, but they're wanting you also to be in the energy of happiness and having fun and not all work. Okay. The longer a to-do list gets, the more disarray it creates. We can actually become more productive when we shorten our list down to a handful of goals, then deal with each of them one by one giving them our full attention and the time they need to be completed to the best of our ability, providing ourselves more organization and job satisfaction. Okay, the affirmation that they want you to remember is I have clearly defined what I want to achieve today. I know what to do and how to do it. Okay, so organization they're wanting you to maybe get a list together of a, a small list of goals and then as you perform these uh, personal goals then you can check them off and add in more because oftentimes when we create this whole big old list it becomes like a task and it becomes stressful and then you uh, limit what you're actually getting done okay because it just seems like too much to attain so just creating a small set of goals that you want to work on and actively get on that okay this card is surging health okay they don't he doesn't want me to read it but he wants me to clarify there's something significant about health here okay walking away from some type of situation that's creating stress for your mental health or leaving those things people and places behind that do not promote your health uh and well-being growth and happiness thank you holy spirit thank you archangel michael okay yeah moving away from situations like this this is like low vibrational karmic type energy anything that's just not gonna be uh help you to grow help to bring peace and balance and joy into your life. It's like they're saying, don't give 
people and opportunities, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, to steal your joy, your peace, okay? This is all about discernment. Also, we need to be making better choices for ourselves when it concerns when it comes to our health and well-being. What is on this health card, Archangel Michael? The moon. Okay. Okay. So the moon and the wheel of fortune. What I'm picking up on this is um, some of us here may be suppressing something that needs to come out in order for it to be changed. Or putting something off. Or you may need to go and see a doctor to get it a checkup because uh, you don't really know with with the moon here what's going on with your health what else for the health in the moon okay ten of Pentacles wish fulfillment okay this is like taking care of your health so that because you have some type of Ten of Pentacles, so this is the second time this came out along with the Millionaire card. So you have some type of wealth coming in for you. You have some type of uh, situation where your wish fulfillment is coming in. But they're saying it's important that your health, you bring your health back to the forefront and make it a priority as well so that you can be around to enjoy this, okay? So this could be very serious for somebody. And Archangel Michael is saying take action now. Okay? Anything else here? Also, hidden enemies, I'm hearing, concerning your health. There are people that you don't realize with the moon here could be in your family with the Ten of Pentacles that are trying to affect, affect your mental health or trying to send you some type of illness uh, energy, okay? So just be mindful and use your discernment. Use your intuition with the moon here, okay? Anything else here? Yeah, Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, okay? That's a confirmation that somebody in your family or that you consider family. This could be this person that's coming back. They really want to lay it on thick about whoever this person is for you all. For us all. Uh, don't They don't want us taking a leap of faith on this person. They don't want us to allow this person to come back. Okay? Went straight to the devil card again. This isn't it. So, let's really pay attention to our health. And um, if there's anything that you feel like you're being guided to do. To start or to stop. They wanted us to really do that. Anything for happiness and growth? No. Okay. So that's it for that. And let's get a guardian angel message and we'll close this out. I just saw 43 on 43.43 on the clock. So that could be significant or 7-7. Seven, seven. Whoa breakthrough how many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear how many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams it is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams allow your heart to guide you trust your inner guidance the time is right okay so i feel like you are on the brink of a major breakthrough that's going to bring this ten of pentacles in for you and we have guilt. Okay. You do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love, regardless of what you've done or what you think you have failed to do. From your soul's perspective, there's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong, okay? This is coming out 
and breakthrough and guilt too because somebody here that was doing spell work is trying to break through to you so that you feel guilty and let them back in okay these folks are crafty so you've done nothing wrong okay those ties have been cut that line has been drawn okay those boundaries have been put up for a reason and Archangel Michael is saying do not allow this person to reconnect to you they will bring this three of swords and ten of wands to you okay I love you family I really hope that this message has helped you this was a loaded one get ready for those water words somebody's about to come in with the ooh, 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 ooh. okay <laughs> I love y'all. I hope that you have a beautiful day or evening. If you are in need of a meditation, check out the Lightworks goodie bag. They are free, um, just free resources that I've compiled together in one video so that you have easy access to really good meditations. However, I'm not responsible for what you choose and how they work for you. So be sure that you use your discernment. And if something doesn't feel right, just turn it off and look up something else that feels better for you okay if you are uh, feeling inclined to donate or if you need a personal reading my information for that is in the description box as well peace and blessings Ashe.